ओके गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन ओके सो द नेक्स्ट पोएम वी हैव तानसेन दैट इज द लास्ट पोएम ऑफ दिस यूनिट सो आई थिंक यू पीपल मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस नेम तानसेन हु इज ही एनी वन एनी आइडिया द ग्रेट सिंगर वेरी गुड सो तानसेन इज वन ऑफ द नाइन ज्वेल अमोंग द नाइन ज्वेल्स इन द अकबर्स कोट he was very famous and he was very well known for his singing so in this poem uh, we will see this poem is the is in the format of the story actually getting it's a narrative story and uh, in this poem we will see how akbar the king akbar appreciated the singing of tansen he is so touched deeply with his singing why because his singing consist very you can say uh, means the person who is going to hear his song the person will be deeply get you can say uh, he will deeply involved himself in his singing and he will forget everything the worldly life worldly life means related to the other people human beings and we will like we will start imagine ourselves as we are in heaven so now we'll see about the paraphrase we'll see one one stanza and then i will let you know about the rhyming schemes and rhyming words which has been used in the poem now see tansen the singer in great akbar's court one great renown you can write the meaning renown is very famous he is very famous through the badshahi fort his voice rang like the sound this is simile because his voice is compared with the sound of silver bells his voice is like the sound of silver bells and akbar revest heard revest is he is so happy and delightful after listening his song the story tells now the story tells refers to that it's actually it's a poem but it is in the form of story so the story tells how the king praised him praised is appreciate someone appreciate your uh, talent whatever the qualities a person possess so that is appreciated by someone so here the qualities of tansen has been appreciated by the king who is the king akbar, akbar. the great king akbar he gave him many a gem gem is the precious uh, valuable person so he is treated as a gem very precious to the king and he is one of the favorite gem among the nine jewels called him chief jewel in his diadem diadem is the crown you know the stars it get shine in the universe same thing he is also considered as one of the shining star among the nine jewels so here i am writing the meaning of diadem you also can write diadem is the jewel crown so he got this title who got tansen tansen got the title of the chief jewel by the king akbar one day the singer singer sang the song of fire so now one day what happened tansen sang the song of fire the deepak rag we can called it as deepak rag song of fire song of fire refers to deepak rag rag it is in hindi so and burning like a pyre it is like a fire when he was singing this song he started burning his soul started burning like a fire so this figure of speech is also known as simile because a direct comparison is done his body burst into consuming flame he was singing so melodious so you can say it was greatly uh, the king uh, akbar got greatly impressed influenced by his singing that he really very shocked that how the person can sing so well so when his body burst into consuming flame to cure his burning heart a maiden came maiden refers to a young woman maiden it is a young woman why she came you know now 
this young maiden will sing the song of malhar and the song of malhar refers to the cold water song means she will make him cool because the tansen's body is going to burn into consuming flame after singing the deepak rag so now what she will sing and sang malhar the song of water cold underline that till health return and comfort as of old so by her singing the singing of malhar now the tansen again will turn into the previous normal soul how he was previously mighty dai it's a old english word dai dai means you or yours so he is saying mighty dai teacher must be and divine great akbar said magic indeed is thine means you are singing so well what about your teacher by whom you have learned such kind of singing so now he is thinking to meet tansen's teacher he wanted to meet the guru of tansen who has make him so capable of singing so much deeply with love okay so now the king is so impressed by the tansen singing that he is asking about his guru teacher learnt at his feet then happy tansen bowed tansen bowed means with request with respect like this because as per the king's request now the tansen is going to tell where the teacher live and said beyond the world's ignoble crowd he said your majesty my teacher my guru lived beyond the worldly humans means he is not living with the people or with the human beings he is living outside of this lively world very you can say uh, it's a remotest remotest means very far place like in the himalayas or near the caves very silent alone the abode is very far away abode means home where the teacher is living so this was the humble request of the kings akbar that he want to meet his teacher scorning its wealth scorning means refused right there remote remote means isolate place you can mark the meaning in the textbook itself remote is isolated and far away he dwells dwells means stay within a cave of himalaya this is the address of the tansen teacher that my teacher lives within a cave of himalaya and it is very far away from here could i but see him once desire the king sit at his feet a while and listening now the king insisting requesting to tansen that i really want to i really wished i really desired to meet your teacher because i want to sit at his feet and i want to listen his purely voice which which really has taught you so well hear his celestial song i would deny my state and walk in robes of poverty robes of poverty means he said definitely i will going to meet him but not in this attire not in the king's way not in the appearance of the king i will go there in the very normal and very you can say you know very ordinary clothes i will wear like very common people i will give up everything all the wealth i will give up then said tansen as you desire huzur see the word huzur huzur is we are telling these kinds of words in order to give respect indeed see the word old english is given here this it means their work this is short it is given in the short you can write it their work better as a slave and poor so he said sir you will come there to meet my teacher definitely but come as a slave as a poor people poor person to come for he lifted above the things of earth disdains to sing to earthly kings so he said you don't worry about that 
I will not let him know that I am a king of this worldly life. High in the mountains at the singer's feet, they knelt and prayed with supplication sweet. Towards the shrine, the shrine means very holy place. T-H-Y, die. So holy shrine is holy place. To we have journeyed long. O holy master, bless us with your song. Now they finally reached there. They walk, they covered a very great distance and finally they uh, they finally they reached there where the Guru stayed. And then he requested to the Guru that, oh, oh my master, I come to you just to listen your holy song. Please bless us with your sweet voice. So now they are requesting to the Guru. Then Ustad. Ustad is a word. Ustad means, do you know what does it mean? Chief. Chief and uh, you know the person which has a great high position. Owner. Yes. Ustad won by their humility. Sang songs of peace and high felicity. Now the Guru has started singing the song of peace. Which is very calm, polite, silent. And it will touch your heart definitely. The Malkas Raga. Which was the Raga he sang? Malkas. Yes. It was Malkas Raga. All acestetic. Acestetic is the happiness, excitement. Rang. And he was so happy after listening this. Even the birds and the beast, beast means animals, they all enchanted as he sang. With the voice of the Guru, it attracted not only birds but also all the creatures like animals all gathered there to listen the song, the voice. Gathered to hear over Akbar's dreaming soul. He felt the waves of heavenly rapture roll. Rapture is to transfer. Now the Akbar was so disappeared. His mind got disappeared, vanished in his singing. And he was truly feeling and believing that miracle of the voice that he has turned or transferred from this worldly life to the heavenly life. Now he is feeling that he is in paradise. Paradise means? Swarg. Now he is experiencing the heavenly life. But as he turned to speak his words of praise, Ustad had vanished. Vanished means disappear from his wandering gaze. Gaze means the sight. So you know before Akbar was just closing his eyes and he was truly he was just uh, enjoying the song. But when he opened his eyes, the song was over and he wanted to praise, appreciate the Ustad. But before he opened his eyes, the Ustad got vanished. He disappeared from there. And you know why? What was the reason? Now he asked Tansen, tell me Tansen, what theme is this that holds the soul enchanted and the heart enfolds? Enfolds means my heart is surrounded. It gets surrendered totally. In high delight. And when he knew the name. Tell me again he said. Could you like the same? He said. Your guru has vanished. He has disappeared. I wanted to ask him. That what kind of song he is singing. What was the theme? I really want to learn that. And I want you to learn that similar song for me. You will sing that same song. What your guru has just sang right now. You will also sing the same song in my court for me. But what Tansen said. Theme sing to lure my heart to paths untrod. Ah, no to thee I sing. He sings to God. So finally he said. Sir, actually I sing for you. But my ustad directly sing for God. That is why there is a magical power what you experience in his voice you cannot experience same uh, magical power in my voice because i sing for people but he sing for god that is the difference between 
me and my guru okay so in short we can say that he is the disciple tansen is the student of ustad he he can learn so well from the ustad but he cannot copy him same getting why because he is living in the worldly life he is experiencing the worldly life he is singing for the people but guru is not living for the worldly life he is living he is just considering himself as alone and he is singing for the god directly getting so the appreciation of this poem is how you can find out first you have to write the title then it is here you can see the poet's name and theme theme you have to write that the poem is in the form of story it's a narrative story it is one of the incident of the akbar's court so the poem has rhyming scheme that is a a it is because it is couplets getting so how you have to find c first stanza you can see coat fort a a bells tells again it is b b gem diadem c c means it is a couplet type means repetition of the same letter so figures of speech you can find out you can see simile direct comparison is there alliteration is there same letter is repeating even repetition is there climax climax means the poem has got a very good climax at the last he wanted to talk with the guru but guru has vanished disappeared he doesn't get chance to talk to him or appreciate him because he don't want any praise guru is actual guru he don't want any praise or appreciation from anyone he is just singing from his heart and he is directly touch your heart with his magical voice okay so uh, central idea you have to write your favorite line which is your favorite line can you tell me which is the favorite line of this poem last, last. last. that is a oh, no to the i sing to the means to you for you i am singing and he sings to god he directly touched the god so this is the favorite line you can mention in the poem any doubts over here no okay have you understood the poem yes. you have to write appreciation of the poem in the paragraph format but remember all the points getting okay thank you so much